1266 is a bill that uh, helps uh, address an issue that's new to our schools. We have many, um, many people finding out that they have food allergies. 25% of students find out they have food allergies while they're in school. It's estimated there's two ch children per classroom nationwide that now have food allergies. Anaphylaxis is a potentially lethal allergic reaction that hits some of these children, and we don't really know why the increase is there, but there is a commonly available tool for that, such as this illustration of an auto-injector that I have in my hand. But epinephrine, more commonly known as adrenaline, is the first line of treatment for someone who is experiencing anaphylactic shock. It can be easily administered, has very little side effect. Again, it's just adrenaline. It's estimated there are two kids, as I said, in every classroom. It is continuing to grow. Recently, this issue drew the attention of President Obama, who signed a federal law which states, uh, states who require stock epinephrine in schools may receive preferential treatment in the awarding of certain grants. He also noted his own daughter has a peanut allergy. My Bill 1266 will require epinephrine injectors to be stocked at schools when there are volunteers who are willing to be trained for administering. Um, by allowing this stock epinephrine, as described in SB 1266, we're potentially enabling our state to compete for federal dollars, but more importantly, providing our health care, health professionals the necessary tools and peace of mind to keep our children safe. This measure has garnered widespread bipartisan support, and I ask for your eye vote.